Welcome to your intro safe space where there are no chicken deaths or chickens being harmed in this intro. Make sure to subscribe if you also feel safe in this safe space. Okay, cool. Let's move on to the video where there'll be no harm or chicken punching in the next 40 seconds. For today's video, I want to use some mods. However, I want to use them all individually to see how good each one is. I think I might have done this before, but I can't remember, so I'm doing it again. I'm going to build one house in vanilla, and then I'm going to replicate that house five times and use different mods each time on that house. Now you may be wondering, Joel, those textures look a bit weird. That's because unfortunately we're on 1.12. Ew. Been a very long time since I've been on this. Why is this chicken looking at me? Don't you dare look at me. So first we've got to actually build a house and this was a lot trickier than I thought. And that's because I've been used to 1.14.4 onwards and I've been building a lot on 1.16 and oh my gosh, I didn't realize how many blocks have been added since 1.12.2. Not only are the textures different, but we don't even have like spruce trap doors or like granite stairs, any of that. So it was quite tricky to make a house, but I gave it a good go anyway, as you can see here. I think it turned out okay, but the interior was even harder to decorate. Also, we don't have bark. Like seriously, there's so many blocks missing. Look how little blocks there are. It's actually crazy. But here's what we've done. I think it's all right. Let me show you the back as well as the back actually looks quite cool. I think it's decent. We've got a chimney. However, there's no fire pits. So instead we've got cobwebs coming out at the top. The oak tree's looking okay. I think it's decent. Inside though, I actually really like the layout of this house. So you come through the front door here, you got some furnaces, some chests. Over here we've got our little crafting area. We only need a crafting table and furnaces because we don't have any of the new blocks like smithing tables, grindstones and the sawmill -y one and all that sort of stuff. But we've got a brewing stand, we've got a fridge here because decoration. A lamp, I didn't know what else to put. Some more chests around here we got a nice little dining table over here, looking very quaint. Then up here, we've got our enchanting room where we got level 30 enchantments. We've got a balcony out here as well to look out across the very green world. And then over here, we've got our bedroom. And it's very basic. It's very 1.12. I'm hoping the mods can make this more entertaining for me because my gosh, I struggled with that. Now the first mod we're going to use to upgrade this house is a mod I've never used before and it's called the Rustic mod. It's pretty popular, but I've just never tried it. Let's see how this goes. So I thought there was actually more to this mod than there actually is. I spent like probably about 30 minutes and I feel like I used every single block that I possibly could. There's not that many blocks that it adds. I was hoping for some more bricks and stuff, but there were no new bricks. So instead, this is what we did. So this is it. Not much difference really is there. We've got these new olive fences that we put around the edge. I really do like these bushes here and you can get some little berries off them. Wild berries. They're really cute. Although it's kind of weird how you just, you know, walk through them. We've got a whole load of different flowers here as you can see. We've got some barrels. I'm not sure if you can put anything in these barrels. Oh, the closed ones you can, but not the open ones. This pot which you can just store stuff in, apparently. So that's there. There's a little beehive over here. There's some beehives. I'm not sure if there's actually a bee mob. There's this, but it doesn't fly. Put it in the, the apiary. I'm guessing you get a honeycomb. I don't know. Over here, we've got just, you know, some more barrels and stuff. I did put this lattice thing around the side of the house here. Kind of looks quite funky. We changed the roof to this sort of slate roof. And we also added on these granite pillars here. But apart from that, the outside, there wasn't that much to change, unfortunately, which is a shame. But inside, it's quite a big difference. We now got this floor here, which is a nice, like, dark red. We got these in here with some, like, cabinets to store stuff in. I do like those, and they open as well, which is cool. I'm not sure what this is. It says tub. Can you put water in it? Oh, what? Nope. Yeah, that's there. We've got more of these... We've got these little chandeliers, which I do love. I think these look awesome and you can customize them as well. So you can have two or three or whatever you want. Over here, we got a dining room table where you can sit down, eat out of whatever this is. It's a dish, got a candle, more pots, more candles upstairs. This section hasn't really changed that much apart from the floors. I forgot to change the stairs, I've just realized. Unfortunately, there is no stair blocks though. So that's as good as we're gonna get. We got some barrels, we got these cupboards here, which are just these ones, but they make one big cupboard. I do like that. Some more for the bedside. And that's about it. There's not that much you could change. So seeing as this is only a 1.12.2 mod, it doesn't really add that much. 
I feel like I'd just rather play 1.16. You get some better blocks to mess around with. Speaking of 1.16, we're actually going to head there now as we're going to be messing around with Quark. I've not even done anything yet. I've just switched it to 1.16 and it already looks better. All right, let's get on with this. So I've said it before, but Quark is one of my favorite Minecraft mods. It's just insane the amount of stuff it adds. And also, I've not tried the 1.16 version yet, so I was happily surprised to find a load of new cool stuff in there. The main one being these cobblestone bricks here that I'm using for the main block which I thought just looked really cool. Also for shutters I used the new warped ladders that they added in which I thought looked awesome and of course you got all these blossom trees so I had to change the tree outside to be a blossom tree just because it looks so so much better. Inside I just changed the floor to marble we added some more cool stuff in we changed the upstairs as well a little bit but not too much. Uh, so this weird thing has happened where all the villagers from that village over there have decided to make their way over here and gather around these barrels and become fishermen. That was not intentional but it's happened but here you go i think it's looking quite a lot different this one especially in comparison to the rustic one we did the bamboo as well we got this lovely sort of blossom tree here which i think is looking really nice i love how the blossom like does these little effects where it falls down as well the outside has changed quite a lot the new blocks and such and one of my favorite things about this mod are these vertical slabs i think they are a game changer i really wish we had these in normal minecraft but yeah i really like the roof the colors it's all quite different and inside it's changed up quite a bit we got these barrels up here now this is quite vanilla -y in here to be honest but we have these invisible item frames in quark and you can do cool stuff like this we've also got some custom chests i really like these ones these are warped chests I think they look really cool. I like the little bow that's on them. We also changed this to warped on here. And the table is not as good as the previous mod, but you can see here we use some of the invisible item frames again. Added in a little bush as well. And also a fireplace with these gold bars, which are like iron bars, but you make them out of gold. And I think they look really good. It's kind of like a lot different to the gold ones. Oops. Upstairs though, we've changed the bookshelves to be spruce. We've added a few invisible item frames on, some candles as well, which are part of the mod. We added some diamonds and the invisible item frames, lectern. This thing here is like a pipe. I don't know what it does, right? It's called item pipe. It's a redstone thing. You put a hopper on it and drop stuff through it. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that's funky. And then over here, we've got a little cupboard with some armor in it. We've got the bed some chess and that noise of the villagers is really annoying but yeah i really like these ladders as shutters i think they look really good but let's move on to our next mod which might be a bit longer but let's move on to our next mod and that mod is lizzie's things which is a custom mod which none of you have access to <laughs> i'm sorry about that but yeah let's try it out so there's not actually as much as i fought in this mod originally but there's still enough where it's pretty fun to show you so you probably can't really even see a difference outside but trust me there is one i'll show you right now what's changed and most of the stuff is actually the interior which i did off camera oops also my time lapse crashed on the exterior where there is actually some more stuff out here we got our dog here who's looking very cute in front of his little dog house he's got a dog bowl as well i really like we've got these table and chairs we've got the new coffees we've got the burgers we've got some sun loungers so you can sit back chill out relax but that's basically it for the outside we've also got my favorite thing which i love using an ex they're inside now but anyway like i was saying uh, the flower boxes, and these actually come in multiple different colours. I just use the default ones because I think they look best in my style of building, but the other ones are super cute as well. But let's head inside where we have a ab massive amount of villagers now, which is not good. We got the froggy chair. Oh my gosh, get out of the way. The silver play button. A little pot of soup there, which I love. A purple mushroom. And over here, we've got a table and chairs, which is looking very nice. We've got a little sheep plushie on the mantelpiece of our area this fairy like globe and just like you know it's a really cute table and chairs i really like these ones that lizzie made upstairs the enchanting area we've added in some books more purple lanterns and this little crystal ball thing there plus a present and over here we got a little tv to sit in bed and watch more globes and a little sheep plushie to keep us company so yeah not a huge amount added but this was just a small one because i wanted to see what i could do with this mod and i really like the stuff that lizzie's added in i'm hoping she adds more to this in the future our next mod is a mod i played around a little bit and it's called cockricot and this mod also comes with a texture pack you must use otherwise everything looks really really weird and this is going to be the most drastic mod change in this video i have a feeling because it is ridiculous how much this mod changes minecraft as you can see already it starts to not look like Minecraft anymore with these 
weird roofs. Also, for some reason, the blocks there have glitched out. They don't look like that in-game, I can promise you, when I go to have a look at it in a second. I don't know why they look like that. But there's loads of different types of leaves, loads of different types of blocks, like the curved arches. We also have so many blocks for decorating inside. We can have like a little kitchen, some lights above, everything you'd ever really want, to be honest. Also, yes, I forgot to time-lapse most of the interior. So I really didn't change much of like the scenery on this one. There's not much scenery stuff this adds in. There's like these planters and stuff, but I feel like these look better just on the walls and stuff rather than placing them around. The tree here though has got some of these sort of like rose leaves in them, which I do really like. But I don't think this tree looks really good with this mod. I don't know why. But out here we got a little post box here you can see which is adorable and this house looks really cool I think now with this. Especially with these archway bits. I think that changes so much. Also this little sort of decoration bit around the outside looks really cool in my opinion. These like custom window bits here as well which I really like. And inside if we head in we have our kitchen area. We've got a little oven there. We've got this. We've got a fridge, we've got some cupboards and stuff. This mod is purely just for decoration. We've got flowers, hat stand. Over here, we've got like this little butterfly jar, little globe. We've got this table and chairs, which looks really cute. A fireplace as well, which doesn't have a fire in it right now. You meant to add it in yourself. There we go. That looks really cool. Up these like custom stairs here, we've got our enchanting area with these custom curtains, bookshelves, and books spread around with lamps. More lamps, flower pots, bedside drawers here. We've got this massive bed, which is a bit too big and doesn't fit. And also some of these textures in here are a bit glitchy, but it looks awesome. And this is one of those mods as well, where you can just change the shaders and it just makes it look ridiculously realistic. I love it. Our final mod is a mod called Embellish Craft. It's another 1.16 one. I've never used this one before. I'm excited to try it out. Now, I feel like this mod couldn't really be appreciated with just a simple upgrade on a house. Like I did my best to show off some of the blocks that you get added in this thing, but honestly, it wasn't that many. There was a decent amount of blocks. It was just they're all different types of blocks, so you couldn't really Really make them work. It wasn't a load of items and stuff that you could use for decorating. It's more just lots of types of blocks and stairs, etc. But I tried to make it work and we did decorate the inside a little bit. So let's go have a quick look at how it's looking. But here's the final thing. You can see a few new additions outside, but like I said, not many. We got these crates here, which I do quite like and you can open. They make quite a nice noise as well. But apart from that outside, there's not much. You can see we've changed up the blocks. They're just sort of different textures. As texture pack, we probably have done the same effect here. These here are some doors that were added in the mod. Spruce plane doors, which I've used as shutters. I think they look pretty cool as shutters. We've also got a new door here as well. I do like this roof texture. It's called like basalt roof tiles. I think that looks cool. And I do really like this diorite texture as well. It's called smooth diorite. I think that's really cool. If you look at the mod, it adds in a decent amount of blocks, as you can see here. It's just all different variants of different blocks. There's nothing crazy new in this thing. But inside we go, and we've got some custom spruce chests, which I do like. Although they don't open like normal chests, if you just look, which is kind of weird. We got a plate because you have plates now. Um, and this bit is all just basically vanilla because there's not really much I could add. We do have some fancy tables over here with these lanterns, which look kind of funky. This pillow, we got a table and chairs. You can sit on the chairs. Up this custom staircase here, we go up and we've got not much really changed up here. There wasn't really much I could add. We do have these custom beds there, as you can see, and the purple lantern. I do like these beds. I think they're quite a nice addition and a little balcony seat and table out here. There's not really that much that this mod adds. I think I'd rather just use Quark than this mod, but it was fun to try it out at least to see if there was anything interesting and that there wasn't. But unfortunately guys, that is all we got time for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and leave a like and comment as well. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.